Hey everyone, this is Day Trader Rockstar, and this is the Market Radar for Friday, May 2nd. And today was, you know, a kind of expected chop fest. And we did move higher. We closed pretty flat. I mean, the S&P officially closed down a point. Uh, it would have been nice to end in the green and get that, you know, get the official closing in the green for the uh, radar report. But uh, we ended flat, pretty flat on the day. And this was pretty much expected. It was a, a holiday in Europe, uh, parts of Asia, May Day, Labor Day. And, um, you know, a lot of the volume was going to be lighter. And the jobs report tomorrow, Friday, was in front of us. So there wasn't, wasn't going to be any big moves made overall in the day. And you can actually see on the five-minute chart, um, let's just see, an, an early, well, let's go out here. There we go. And, you know, just a... Uh, little pullback, a run to new highs, and then a drift back down, and pretty much closing off right where we started off. Um, the S&P 500 closing out 18.83. So a pretty much sideways day, a little run higher, took out the highs, pulled back, stayed within the range, and then closed pretty flat on the day. It was really an expected day. It really was an expected uh, day like this. Not a bad day. The good signals came through. There was actually... Um, couple good uh, uh, tradeometer signals today. We had uh, an early one, which we had a little issue with the tradeometer early, so we, uh, you know, uh, opened it up right around this 10 o'clock, and, uh, you know, on my screens here, I had an alert down here. I think that we had, because it was just opening up, it had to get all the data in here, so it wasn't a really good one, but this was a good level down here where I had my alerts. Um, then we had a first sell alert up here right before 11 o'clock. These are all timed in the thing. We had a little pullback. Then we pushed back up to that level and got another overbought level. And you know what? It was a little volume spike here. There was some stops up here. You could smell those stops. There was some uh, resistance here. We kind of popped through that level and, and got right back up here. And then we came up with a, a, a real good sell signal. And we had FT71 on. And we discussed this line at 81.5. And, and that's exactly what we look for. When we look at trading the tradeometer, we look for the combination of uh, an overbought t multiple time frame setup, which tradeometer is, uh, you know, calculated to give you, uh, and um, a another indicator that's also lining up at the same time. In this case, we're looking at volume profile lines, and that's one of the best ones. It's, for me, it's channel lines, volume profi profile lines, and trend lines. So those are the things why we always have these lines on here. And, and when you get a line up here and a line, you know, an orange line, and you have that, that square coming in in that zone, that's the zones we're paying attention to. That's the multiple indicator zones. That's what we call pure HPS zones. And HPS zones on a one-minute chart are just for short-term time frame. So a, a, a pullback right here is just you're just looking for a reaction. And it's, you know, at that point, you can see a bigger reaction. In this case, you have a small reaction. Here you had a small, you know, a longer reaction. Here you had a buy signal, and you had a nice little bounce, pushed up to the 200, which is an important level to recognize. Pulled back here, and we studied about five sec uh, five minutes, and we failed there. And it was interesting because it was a pivot back here. And if we look at a pivot area, we're looking at this this little pivot area here, uh, and I knew it wasn't a strong one, and it was just gave us enough time to stall at that level. The real big one, you know, came back down here, and it n there was no trend line here. The reason I put that trend line in after is because we had a good alert here, and that alert worked out great. It worked out great, and then with that pivot being established, then I threw that line up here, and that's we kind of much, uh, you know, chopped around this line for the rest of the day and closed out pretty high. Uh, we didn't get any other alerts, so... Overall, not bad. Well, that leads us to going into tomorrow. The, the market ended flat. We expected that. Expect new highs to come down the road. Tomorrow we have an F, um, excuse me, a jobs report, which is going to be, uh, again, the unemployment rate also being uh, discussed, and that's going to be in focus. Now, that's always a gamble. You know, has the market sell into the news? Is it a good report? Does it push new highs? Do we react be, uh, react after that? That's one of the scenarios I'd like to see set uh, set up. You know, the market to kind of just make it run to new highs. This might be the catalyst that happens, that causes that to happen. But when that level gets taken out, then I become in a more cautious mode, and I would wait for the next, uh, the next group of setups that happen, at least on the 60-minute time frame or the daily. Because remember, if we do take out the highs, um, this should definitely cross back up. That's going to be very bullish, and 
the daily will be, you know, the daily is still very bullish. So it's not going to give us any good indications of selling. And that, you know, and that that in itself, we want to have something rotate back down. I want a new, you know, a take out of the highs, a continued move higher. This thing could continue to move. You know, it just it's going to be, um, you know, we just have to take it. Uh, time frame by time frame and look for those setups right now everything looks very bullish so the fact is a little you know news item coming out tomorrow could affect the market to the downside you know if it does we have some levels to watch um, but uh, overall it shouldn't you know it shouldn't stop us from uh, reaching new highs down the road quicker so maybe today tomorrow's the day I have to put our first cautionary mark on the uh, you know on the on the uh, market radar. Normally, it's an up arrow, a down arrow, or I have a caution. I haven't used caution yet. Tomorrow is a good day to use caution, and we'll just we'll leave it at that. Just scroll back out here and just look at, you know, how what the market has been doing for the last year. You know, we're going into May. The, the market really just you know we flagged out in June, pushed up in July, June, so flagged out, flagged out. Each one of these uh, uh, horizontal or vertical lines here, uh, you know. Represents an overbought, under, uh, an underlying trend line, a recognizable pattern, and an oversold daily stochastic. Each one of those things have been touch textbook, even to the point of this one right here. So you can see that this larger pattern has broken out and has moved up aggressively from that. We haven't really even broken out of this bigger channel. So the potential here of a, a larger rally through 1900 is definitely uh, something to watch. Um, you know. Uh, I, th I could see that happening. I could definitely see that happening. First thing we want to watch is the reaction after we take out the highs. Do we get some reactionary selling? Um, you know, always pay attention to those candlesticks. The topping candle, the bottoming candle, the combination of the candles and the stochastics are key. Oversold with a, a bottoming candle is a one-two combination for a long. And the same thing would be an overbought level and a, a topping candle where you have that big, uh, uh, you know, sell signal. You know, probably will be just a good, uh, as, you know, pretty good level to watch. So again, a cautionary day tomorrow. Not going to call a direction. I would think that there's a good shot that we actually break higher. But after that, how do we uh, play the market? We'll see how the market reacts. Um, we have a special guest tomorrow. Angry Mo, uh, Angry Mob of One. That's his screen name. Member in the thing. He's been trading the markets. Uh, pretty new trader. I think I just talked to him. Um, couple of days ago and it's been in the market I think since 2010 and um, found a site and enjoying it and, and really uh, had a great great day today he just made a point of mentioning it to me because you know if you, you come out with those things those type of numbers he basically took out 42 points off the ES today in the futures in four different trades and I asked him if he could get on the mic tomorrow discuss how he found those trades, what, what, what indicators he was looking at, what, what caused him to get in and what got, caused him to get out. So we're going to have him on tomorrow at 12 o'clock. So I definitely tune in to check out that. I'll be tuning in also. I'll be here all day. And, um, and that's about it. So we'll talk to everyone tomorrow, Friday, Jobs, jobs Day. Have a great weekend. Uh, great, uh, excuse me, great, uh, great Thursday night. We'll see you tomorrow. The weekend has not started. By far, for me at least, tomorrow's my latest day. But I'm looking forward to uh, trading tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Talk to you then.